Jordan's health minister, Nadil Obidat, has resigned after six people died following an oxygen outage in a hospital treating coronavirus patients. The oxygen failure hit intensive care, maternity and coronavirus wards in the New South Government Hospital west of the capital, Amam. A government spokesman said Obidat had to resign because he carried a moral responsibility over the incident. Jordan's health minister resigned on Saturday after six people died following an oxygen outage in a hospital treating coronavirus patients. Police were deployed to hold back angry relatives, state media said. The oxygen failure earlier on Saturday hit intensive care, maternity and coronavirus wards in the new Salt Government Hospital west of the capital, Amman. A government spokesman said Prime Minister al Kasane asked the country's health minister to resign over the accident. The government said initial investigations showed the six deaths were caused by a one-hour disruption in oxygen to the wards and that prosecutors were handling the case. Jordan's King Abdullah also later visited the hospital. Jordan's facing a spike in COVID-19 infections attributed mainly to the fast transmission of the British variant of the virus. It announced last week stricter measures to curb the spread of COVID-19 and reimposed a full lockdown on Fridays. Meanwhile, Jordan's Prime Minister says that the deadly oxygen outage in the hospital was a major mistake. Six patients had died during the oxygen failure, which affected uh, several wards, especially the coronavirus wards in the new Salt Government Hospital. Uh, Prime Minister Bishar al Kasane said the incident is unjustifiable and that he feels ashamed about it. al Kasane said the director of the hospital had been sacked and a local health director suspended while the incident is investigated. Former Brazilian President Lula da Silva has received the first dose of the Sinovac vaccine against COVID-19 in Sao Paulo. Lula was administered the shot at a vaccination drive through in Sao Paulo State. He was accompanied by the Federal Deputy of the Workers' Party and the former Minister, Andre Padilla. Recently, Lula attacked Brazil's President El Bolsonaro directly for his record in handling the coronavirus pandemic, especially delays obtaining vaccines and doubts sowed by the President about their effectiveness. Brazil has lost nearly 270,000 people to COVID-19, the worst death toll outside the United States. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.